not too far from Libya. Tunisia's 2011 revolution dramatically transformed the lives of many of its citizens for better and worse. Viewers Lisa Bryan talked to some of them about changes they have experienced. Tunisia's 2011 revolution dramatically transformed the lives of many of its citizens for better and worse. General Secretary of the Utica Employers Union, Wided Bouchamawi, one of four Tunisians awarded last year's Nobel Peace Prize on behalf of their civil society groups. We need to succeed this transition, we, uh, this fragile political transition, because people, when they were uh, on the street on December 2010 and January uh, 2011, they shouted on one voice, they said, we want dignity, democracy and jobs. Fares Saeed was on the street during the uprising. Today, he's bringing about change peacefully, writing plays and volunteering at a local radio station in Zarzis. I want to change young people's ideas and give them a positive outlook. If we don't have theater, music or culture, we can't live, we remain enclosed and we stop thinking. Saida Unisi grew up as a political refugee in France. She returned to Tunisia shortly after the revolution. Today, she's a rising star in the moderate Islamist El Nahda party. We consider that we have suffered as a country uh, of this lack of uh, pluralism and diversity in the political scene. So that is very important. So now we know that we need to experience something else, uh, which is, you know, like doing coalition partnerships, etc. I'm full of hope, actually. Lisa Bryant for VOA News, Tunis.